Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, I thought it'd be a fun idea to do an experiment using some Dolby Atmos upfiring speakers. Now, before we dive into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right guys, if you watched my last video, I did a kind of a fun um, demo in regards to Dolby Atmos. Now what I did is I took my Marantz SR8012 receiver and I unhooked all of the speakers except for four Dolby Atmos speakers. So I unhooked the front towers, I unhooked the center channel, I unhooked the side surrounds and the back surrounds. And the only thing I had connected were two speakers from a pair of Klipsch RP8060FA floor standing speakers. Now these speakers have a built-in Dolby Atmos speakers that are up firing. They're built into the tops of the cabinet. And so on the back of those speakers, they have two binding posts or two sets of binding posts. I only connected the top set, which powers the Dolby Atmos um, speakers that are built into the cabinet. So that was the first set of speakers for the Dolby front uh, Atmos speakers. And then I had two Klipsch RP500SA uh, those are basically, they can either be used as surround speakers, up firing speakers, or in this case, I have them mounted on the walls. So that's basically like a height elevation speaker that we're using for Dolby Atmos. And so I thought in this video, I would do something kind of different. I wanted to see if what I heard in that video, in my brain and what I was hearing was sound was coming from above. A lot of times, if you watch that video, you didn't get a chance to check it out i'll link it up here as well as in the description below but if you watch that video there were many times i just kept looking up and going man it sounds like it's coming right from there it sounds like it's coming from here or from both of those speakers and i was really surprised honestly how well these speakers made my ears believe that the sound was physically coming from the top which technically it is because the sound is bouncing off my ceiling and reflecting down to my ears. Now I know this is a big time controversial uh, issue and, and subject with a lot of you guys. And some of you were wondering, you know, does it really work? And a lot of you probably think that it's hokey. And even uh, I love Gene Della Sala with Audioholics and he calls them bouncy house speakers. And he pretty much thinks they're garbage. And I'm not going to claim in this video that they're amazing, okay? Um, and I'll share with you at the end my final thoughts on these. But I wanted to get two people in here. I'm gonna invite my son and his girlfriend into the theater room so that we can kind of do, not really a blind test, but in a way it's a blind test because they don't know what speakers I've got connected. And so I haven't told them what I'm gonna be doing. I did kind of give my son a heads up. I told him that I would need his help in the theater room in just a little bit. And he said, cool, just let me know but he doesn't know why he's coming in the theater. And so I just thought it'd be a fun experiment. So with that said, let's get into the, the uh, experiment and let's see what happens. Hey, Jacob. Jacob, can you and Alonso come here for a second? Yeah. Hey, watch out right here. I've got a tripod. Mm. Hey, Alonis, come here. Yeah. I guess I need you too. Come here. I'll do a little experiment. Watch out for the tripod. Hey, have a seat in first two seats. First, yep. One? Yeah, that'll work. That'll be fine. All right, I'm going to play a couple of scenes. Actually, I'm going to give you the microphone. Okay. Well, I'll hold it for a second. I'm going to play a couple of scenes from... Um, Blade yeah, Blade Runner. 20, and so you're familiar with that. Have you seen it? Yep. Cool. So what I want you to do is just tell me like where you hear the sound you coming from. Oh yeah. You're gonna be from somewhere else, but I'm gonna think it's from somewhere else. Wow, now you're like over analyzing it. <laughs> no, so, I know, but I know, I, mean, like, I know where what it's it coming is. from. When like, you tell me like, what it is, is it coming um, from behind me, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Just where's the oh, sound okay, coming okay. from? Okay. All right. So here's the first one. Like I said, I'll be about three of them. And you can look around the room and listen for it. And even point to it, like as you hear the sounds. Just curious. They're up there. They're up there. I was going to say, like up here. 
they sound like up there. I'll give you two more. That's crazy. So That's there, just Dolby Atmos, isn't it? So there were some speakers on in the room, of course, and some speakers off in the room. And so where did you hear the sound come from? I heard mostly up, up top. Like but mostly where? like front, up, front. So front, up, like where? Like there and there. Okay. So I've got two in-ceiling speakers right here. There's one mm-hmm. there and one there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where else did you hear it? I heard one. About one right yeah. there. Yeah. Somewhere back here? Like yeah. one time. Was like yeah, one, it was like one time. Yeah, one time. Like I one remember time it sounded like behind me. Okay, so behind you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I heard it on the side. Okay. Kind of like over here. Okay. Really. Gotcha. So it was, that, it was like an echoing effect. like. Yeah. Okay, so basically in a movie you have what they call Dolby Atmos. And mm-hmm. Dolby Atmos is where you add height mm-hmm. and sound, right? Um, and so... But what it seemed to do was take over the whole room and actually sound like a like a what's it called like they call it immersive audio that's what the word i was looking for yeah and so typically you know you're gonna have front speakers you're gonna have back speakers side speakers and then we add these dolby atmos Mm -hmm. speakers up top and that kind of gives you this kind of canopy this surround sound immersive Mm -hmm. audio um what you were hearing you were correct so there were two speakers back there Mm -hmm. that were hooked up um it's hard to hear those and know where they're at because the sound is hitting the back of your head yeah and your ears are faced forward, so that makes sense. But would you be surprised if I told you that the sound that you heard were coming from those? Oh, okay. really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because it sounded more up than okay. it sounded in front of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's the whole purpose. Basically, what these do is they actually have a speaker. Oh, they've got the ones that go up, oh, right? It, right. It uh, hits the okay. ceiling, All right. mm-hmm. and it bounces down. Um, so really, I'm just trying to do an experiment because I know there are a lot of guys that don't believe that those are effective. And I don't think they'll work for every room, 
but I think in certain applications, it can sound pretty stinking realistic. Yeah. And when I was listening to it uh, just two days ago and did a video on it, I kept looking up. Well, I'm also, yeah. I'm also pretty, I was pretty close-minded because I know you have those in there. So I thought you like just had those. So mm. no, it doesn't. Yeah. I was but pretty, no, I was pretty biased. I was pretty like biased. So right I thought, here. I just assumed it was up there. So I don't know if that hindered. I just, I thought you unplugged these and you just had Dolby Atmos. Yeah. I thought that was your thing. I thought you wanted me to think that they were coming <laughs> from there, but they were actually coming from there, but it was yeah. the opposite. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Like I said, I just wanted to see, you know, somebody that didn't yeah. know, you know, was it just my brain? Knowing what it's supposed to sound like, yeah. was it really sounding like that? But, uh, and I wasn't sure even seat placement. You know, mm -hmm. if you're over there, are you? Is it going to sound yeah. like it's coming from there? Now, what I don't think is if you're in the back row, it's going to sound as much like that, yeah. because the sound is going to hit at a certain angle and balance, you know, bounce, bounce down, down at a yeah. certain angle. Mm -hmm. So I'm just not so sure that if you're in the back row, it's going to sound like that. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, it was a pretty cool uh, experience. I yeah. appreciate you guys hooking me up. Yeah, not bad. You the man. Thank you, Alanis. Cool deal. Hey, just be careful when you walk out that you don't hit the tripod. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> when you open that door, just open it real slow. For the tripod? Yeah. And then I'll yeah. shut it. Yeah. Yep. With the tripod? Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. You got yeah, it. I just didn't want you to hit it. <laughs> You're funny. Funny guy. All right, guys, this is about as close as I can get to, I guess, what you would consider a blind test. I wanted them to be able to see the screen and see visually what you and I would see if we were watching a movie, because none of us watch a movie with a blindfold over us. And so as action is happening on the scene, sometimes it does tell our brain that, oh, we're hearing sound from above in that certain situation. But a lot of that really wasn't even sound that would normally, you know, our brains wouldn't think that there would be sound above us. It was ambient noise. It was this immersive audio that Dolby Atmos produces. And so I think it's pretty cool that Klipsch has been able to produce a speaker that gives the impression in our brain that the sound is coming from above. Now, I want to say this. I still believe that in-ceiling speakers are the best speakers for Dolby Atmos. You're going to get direct sound that's coming exactly where it should come from, which is directly above you. But I also realize that some of you guys don't have the luxury or the ability or even the desire to cut holes in your ceiling. You may have an apartment. Uh, you may just physically don't want to climb in an attic and pull cables and install ceiling speakers. And so because of that, the good news is there are some good options out there and alternatives for those of you that can't put in ceiling speakers in your ceiling. And so I'm grateful that companies like Klipsch and SVS, I believe even D uh, Definitive Technologies, there's a lot of companies that produce speakers that are either Atmos modules that sit on top of your speakers. Some speakers such as the Klipsch RP8060FA have the built-in speakers in the top of the speaker. And I think that that's going to be a more convincing and a more believable sound than if I were to take these um, RP500SA uh, modules and place them on top of front tower speakers. Because basically the way that the front speaker is designed you have these foam inserts that block the sound and the speakers are also recessed into the cabinet. And so you don't get any direct sound that's coming forward towards your ears. The sound is going straight out of the speaker to the ceiling and reflecting that sound down to your ears. And so I realize there's a lot of, um, you know, debate on whether or not, uh, up firing speakers are just completely, um, snake oil or worthless. And so I wanted to find out for myself, can you hear them? Does it sound realistic or is it kind of hokey sounding? And to my ears in this room, in this setup right here, my ears were convinced just the other day when I did the demo myself. And then as you saw my son, Jacob and his girlfriend, Alanis, they both were saying the same thing. I saw, I was sitting up front and I'm looking at them. And a lot of times they're going like this and I'm like, raise your hands up so you guys could see where they were pointing to. But they kept saying it's up there. And I heard him say one time, I don't know if it came through in the microphone, but Jacob said, it's definitely coming from up there. And so his brain was telling him and his ears were telling him, 
hey, I'm hearing sound from above. Well guys, hopefully you found the video helpful uh, in building your home theater. Maybe you don't have the ability to put in ceiling speakers or you don't wanna do that. And so just realize that there are some alternatives. They're not gonna be as quite as good as installing in ceiling speakers, but in my room and in this setup, um, they sound very convincing. Um, definitely having the height rear channels and the Atmos up firing speakers creates a great bubble or a great immersive experience in this room with 10 foot ceilings. Well guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.